got the virus from an infected person here and getting people tested fast is crucial to stopping its spread. Our correspondent Mark White is at the news wall with more. Well, as the world's top scientists look for new ways to fight swine flu, as you say, one of the most important tasks is to find a rapid and specific test for this new strain. At the moment, swabs are taken from the throats of patients. From there, it's currently a three-stage process. First, samples are sent to a regional lab where scientists can do a simple test for the influenza A family of viruses. This takes around an hour. A machine is used to amplify the sample. It will glow if influenza A is present. If that comes back positive, then a second, more complicated test is done, which tells doctors whether it is the H1N1 strain of the virus. If that also proves positive, the sample is sent to London, where experts determine the exact genetic sequence of the sample. It's a long process which takes days. So what scientists are looking to develop is a new one-step test. To do that, they are comparing the genetic material of flu viruses to find a sequence of genes that makes this one unique. Well, a team of scientists in Southampton say they found that sequence and a rapid test should be available early next week. Sky's Alistair Bunkle reports. It's on this unassuming industrial estate on the outskirts of Southampton that the global race to develop a quick and effective test kit is almost won. The Primer Design Laboratories are within days of completing production on technology that will identify the presence of swine flu in just two hours. The current method takes two days. It's the first kit in the world which is going to be available to specifically look for the pandemic version of the virus that's circulating at the moment. So there are, there are kits and techniques out there to look for flu and to look for pig flu, but um, at the moment there's nothing out there to specifically look for this new dangerous version of the disease. This is a prototype of the kit. It's actually based on a pre-existing piece of technology but has been modified so it can test for swine flu, and each one can test around 150 people. They'll be distributed and used in anger from the middle of next week, initially to the front line in Mexico, but also to Spain, uh, the Middle East, and the company hopes here in the UK. Crucially, this kit is cheap, fast, and easy to mass produce. As with every virus, the DNA of swine flu has a sequence that is individual to it alone. The kit tests a sample, rapidly makes multiple copies of it, and if swine flu is present, homes in on its unique genetic tag. It thereby singles out sufferers of swine flu from others who might have contracted a more common strain of the flu virus. This is a typical machine that would exist in every uh, hospital in the land. Uh, it takes 100 samples at a time, and these are the test results um, of a run. These dramatic positive curves uh, indicate a positive test result. These people have been exposed to the virus. These negative uh, samples here give completely flat lines, and that is how you can very easily make a diagnostic determination between the two populations. Of course, the race to produce this kit has obvious commercial rewards, but it's being conducted with such urgency because swine flu remains something of an unknown. And should it spread and indeed worsen, rapid diagnosis will enable governments and health agencies to monitor its progress and hopefully contain it. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News, Southampton. Well, among those 15 confirmed cases in the UK now, three of them are children. Two schools have been closed, but what advice has been given?